Hey awak, awak yang tu lah. Jangan lupa subscribe channel kita. Tanda sokongan. Terima kasih. Okay, so now let's continue. So question 21. So here we have 4.5 sin pi over 3 times 66 t minus x. So calculate the frequency and also the wavelength. Okay, so based on the equation, nah, tengok betul-betul kat depan ni kita ada pi over 3. So simplify that equation, you're going to have 4.5 sin pi over 3. Okay, uh, times 60, 60 minus pi over 3 x. Boleh eh? So, kita akan dapat 4.5 sin 22 pi t minus pi over 3 x. So, from here, kita tahu this is the value of omega. And this is kx. Alright, so omega is equal to 2 pi f, so frequency is equal to omega over 2 pi, so 22 pi over 2 pi, so kita akan dapat 11, frequency equal to 11 hertz. Okay, sama ada jawapan dia C ataupun D lah. Okay, and then omega, kita dah settle tadi. So, K is equal to 2 pi over lambda. So, from here we can find lambda over, uh, lambda equal to 2 pi over K. K kita adalah pi over 3. Okay, so awak akan dapat nilai K is equal to 6, sorry, nilai lambda eh, is equal to 6 cm. Okay, this one you can cancel. So, you can dapat 6 cm. And the answer is D. Okay? So, finish 21. Alright, question 22. So, here we have a string. is stretched between two points. So, here is the points. Okay, 50 cm apart. So, means that the length of the string is 0 0.5 meter. Okay? The speed is transverse wave in the string is 30 meter per second. So, determine the fundamental frequency of the stationary wave in the string. So, we want to find fundamental frequency. So, remember that the fundamental pattern of the segment untuk string okay, adalah pattern of dorayaki. Okay, so based on the equation given, Okay, in order to calculate the fundamental frequency ataupun first harmonics, second harmonics ataupun third harmonics dan so on, we can use this equation. Okay, so since soalan dah bagi L, soalan dah bagi V, so we can straightly find fundamental frequency ataupun first harmonics is equal to, okay, so the answer is 30 hertz. Okay. So, the answer is B. Very simple. Alright, so question 23. So, here we have stationary source emits a sound wave of frequency F. So, here is the stationary source where F S is equal to 0 meter per second where the stationary source emits sound. Okay, where the frequency of the sound is F. If an observer travels towards the source at half the speed of the sound, so the sound is traveling in this direction towards the observer where V of the sound, kita soalan tak bagilah, okay, and this is the observer where the observer is moving towards to the stationary source study where V observer adalah, berapa dia bagi tahu tu? Uh, separuh, half the speed of the sound, half the speed of the sound. Ha, itu je maklumat kita ada. Okay. So, the observed frequency is, okay, observed frequency ataupun uh, apparent frequency Fa. So, kita tulis tulis equation. Fa is equal to, so, V sound, okay, uh, plus or minus V observer. So, tengok pada direction. Saya selalu ajar, tengok pada direction of sound. 
So it's traveling in this direction and the observer is moving in this direction. So they are opposite direction. Satu ke kanan, satu ke kiri. Bila arrow itu opposite direction, so ini akan jadi plus. Okay, plus uh, the speed of the observer, VO, over V sound plus minus V of the source. The source is not moving, so zero, tak perlu fikirlah. Darab dengan the frequency of the uh, sound, okay, ataupun the sound emit by the source. Okay, so kita boleh kira sekarang FA, saya tulis kat sebelah ni eh. So, F A is equal to V of sound. V of sound tu, V of sound lah. Okay. Plus V observer adalah separuh eh. 0.5 V of sound. Okay. And divide V of sound. Darab dengan frekuensi F. Therefore, we can write 1.5 V of sound over v of sound times f so we can cancel out this one therefore apparent frequency adalah 1.5 f okay which is equal to 3 over 2 f all right so the answer is v eh, sorry c <laughs> okay all right so 24 so here we want to calculate um the young modulus of the materials. Okay, so it's given that the stress and the strain graph. Okay, stress against strain. So, kita ambil satu point lah kat sini. Uh, kita tahu formula for young modulus, kalau kita dah ada nilai stress and strain. So, young modulus is the ratio between the stress and the strain. So, we can straightly substitute stress. Kalau dekat sini, kita boleh baca 3. So, kita masukkan sajalah. And then the strain is 30 times 10 power of negative 3. So, yang modulus, you akan dapat nilai dia adalah 100 pascal. Okay, so the answer is C. Next question, 25. Okay, so here we have a 2.5 centimeter copper. So, means that dx, okay, uh, 2.5 times 10 power of negative 2 meter. So, we have a copper road here. Okay, so this is the copper road. And the radius is given 300 milli meter. So, one end of the copper is placed in a fire at 95 degrees Celsius. So, let's say this is 95 degrees Celsius. And the other end here should be 45 degrees Celsius. Given the coefficient of thermal conductivity K is 385, okay, watt per meter per Kelvin, what is the amount of heat conducted from hot end of the road to the cold end in 10 seconds? Okay, so we're going to find what is the amount of heat DQ. Okay, so based... <coughs> So, based on the equation, dq over dt is equal to negative ka dt over dx. Okay. So, we actually can find what is dq lah. So, alam minta kita kira dq. So, ini kalau kita buat atas, this is 10 seconds. Okay. So, kita akan kira dq is equal to negative 385. And the area is pi r squared. Okay. Kita kena kira lah area tu. Hmm. Okay. So area is equal to. Saya dah harapkan terus kat sini. Pi r is given. Squared. Dt over dx. Temperature final is 45. Minus 95. Okay. Over. Dx is 2.5. Exponent negative 2. Therefore, dq is equal to 3.51. Sorry, 2.17. Exponent 6 joule. Okay. So, the answer is A. Alright. 
So next, question number 26. Okay, so here we have a 45 liter steel container. So kalau dalam liter ni, you tukarlah kepada mm, meter cube. Which is 45 times 10 power of negative 3 meter cube. Okay, and the steel container, so let's say this is the container. Okay, dia kata apa? Full of oil. Okay, so this is full of oil. At temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. Okay. So means that T initial is 30 degrees Celsius. Okay. Plus 273.15. So T initial should be equal to. Uh, berapa tu T initial dia? Uh, tambahkanlah. So 303.15 Kelvin. Okay. So, if the temperature is increased to 50 degrees Celsius, okay, so given that T final is equal to 50 degrees Celsius, okay, plus 273.15, okay, kita kira siap-siap lah, okay, plus 50, 323.15, okay, how much will the oil spill? So, given that, the coefficient of linear expansion, uh, kita cerita pasal volume, tapi bila soalan bagi linear expansion, don't forget, okay, that the coefficient of volume expansion adalah tiga kali coefficient of linear expansion. Okay, uh, untuk steel tu, dia sengaja bagi linear expansion untuk uh, perangkap awak. Okay, so ini dia bagi volume, so senanglah guna saja. Boleh? Okay. So, daripada equation, delta V is equal to, okay, gamma V naught delta T. Okay, awak boleh cari delta V terus ataupun you nak kira V final untuk steel dan oil and then you nak tolakkan pun boleh. Okay, tak ada masalah. So, delta V is equal to V final minus V initial. So, V final you boleh dapat lah. Okay, tambah V0. Okay. So, daripada equation tu, awak boleh kira dulu untuk oil. Buat satu-satu lah. Ha, contoh, kita kira untuk oil dulu. Okay. So, for oil, kita kira V final oil is equal to, okay, gamma V0 delta T plus V0. Okay. Di mana V initial untuk kedua-dua oil dengan steel tu samalah sebab oil tu penuh tadi kan. Okay, so dia sama saja. So, kita boleh cari dulu V final untuk oil. Okay, jangan lupa ya. Uh, yang dia dah bagi coefficient of volume expansion untuk oil tu dah bagi dalam volume expansion. Punya coefficient. So, kita boleh pakai saja. 4.5 times 10 power of negative 4. So, V0 kita tahu 45 times 10 power of negative 3. And delta T... Delta T kita tak tahu, eh kita dah tahu tadi kan? 50 minus 30 degree. Kalau kita tak tukar kepada Kelvin pun tak apa sebab kita nak cari delta T. Okay. Final minus initial. Plus V0 dia adalah 45 times 10 power of negative 3. Okay. So kalau you kira untuk oil ni, you akan dapat V final after the temperature increase to 50 degree Celsius. So, V final dia, you akan dapat 0 0.045 uh, 45405. Uh, ini saya ambil panjang lah. Sebab dia punya perubahan dia tu kecil kan. And then, untuk container pun, you boleh kira. Uh, untuk container, saya tulis kat bawah ni. Uh, container. For steel container, sama jugalah. V final dia, you kira. 4.5, eh sorry. Uh, untuk container, dia punya linear uh, volume expansion dia. Jadi, untuk container, dia bagi uh, coefficient of linear expansion. Okay, dia bagi alpha kan. So, kita nak beta. So, 3 kali alpha. Alpha dia 1.2 times 10 power of negative 5 eh. 3 kali eh. 3 kali alpha. So, perangkap dekat situ. Jangan buat kesalah lah. 
So V0 dia sama 45 liter tadi. Okay, tukarkan kepada meter cube. Okay, temperature delta T dia pun sama. Tambah 45 exponent negative 3. So V final untuk container, you akan dapat 0.04. 50324 Okey. Jadi kedua-dua uh, nilai yang kita ada ni kita tolakkanlah. Okey. Uh, kalau kita tolakkan so kita akan dapatlah dia punya uh, spill oil. Therefore Okey, saya ambil color ni lah. Okey, spill oil okey should be equal to uh, 0.04 5 ah tolakkanlah awak tolakkan. Okey 0.0454 ah 5405 tolak yang oil ini tadi tolak dengan yang ini eh. So you akan dapat jawapan dia 3.73 times 10 power of negative 4 meter cube. Okey awak buatlah eh. Okey so the answer is D. Boleh eh? Alright. So question number 27. So, a polyatomic gas at 27 degrees Celsius possesses both translational and rotational motions determine the translational kinetic energy. Okay. So, bila kita nak kira translational kinetic energy, tak kisahlah untuk uh, polyatomic ke, diatomic ke, monoatomic ke. Equation for the translational kinetic energy is equal to 3 over 2 kT. Okay, awak terus saja guna formula yang ini. Alright, so kita masukkan dalam nilai. So, 1.38 times 10 power of negative 23. So, temperature jangan lupa tukar kepada Kelvin eh. So, dia akan jadi 27 plus, ha, berapa tu? 273.15. So, you're going to have uh, Ke is 6.21 times 10 power of negative 21 joule. Okay. So, the answer is D. Alright. So, question 28. Ah, laju sikit kita eh. Okay. Question 28. If the temperature of an ideal gas decreases from 200 Kelvin to 100 Kelvin, what is the ratio of its final internal energy to its initial internal energy? So, kita tulis dululah. Initial Ha, berapa T dia? Two, uh, 200. T initial 200 Kelvin. So, delta U initial should be F over 2 and R T dia adalah berapa? 200. Kan? So, kalau final T final is 100 Kelvin. So, delta U final should be um, berapa tu? 100, uh, F2 F over 2 and RT, T dia adalah 100. Okay. So, sekarang soalan nak apa ratio antara uh, delta U mana ratio of final eh. Final over delta U initial. So, final adalah F over 2 and RT 100 over F over 2 and RT is 200. So, cancel yang sama ni. Kita cancel out. So, alright. So, after we cancel. So, therefore, delta U final over delta U initial is equal to 1 over 2. Okay. So, the answer is E. Alright. Next, question 29. Alright. So, let's proceed to the next question. Okay, so here we have a system absorbs 7,000 joule heat. Okay, so heat is absorbed or heat is added to the system. So positive 7,000 joule. Alright, at, and at the same time, 3,000 joule of work is done on it. Alright, so W is equal to negative 3,000 joule. Calculate the change in the internal energy of the gas in the system. Okay, so when the heat is absorbed, so positive. So when the work is done on the system, is negative. Alright. 
So based on the first law of thermodynamics equation, alright, so Q is equal to delta U plus W and delta U is equal to Q minus W. Okay, so 7,000 minus negative 3,000. Okay, and therefore delta U is equal to 10,000 joule. Okay. So, the answer is C. And the last question for this set. Okay, set 3. So, an ideal gas undergoes a process AB as shown in PV graph above. Determine the work done by the gas. Alright, so look at here from A to B. So, the pressure is constant. Means that this is the isobaric process. So, for isobaric process, we can uh, straightly calculate the work done by the gas W is equal to P delta V. So, if you look at that, the volume is increases, okay? So, P is 2 times 10 power of 5. Okay, jangan lupa eh, kat atas ni, darabkan sekali. And delta V is 1.8, uh, tengok betul-betul. 1.8 ni unit dia apa? So, okey lah. Unit dia meter cube. Minus 1 over 2. Sorry, 1.2. And the answer is 1.2 times 10 power of 5 joule. Okay. So, this is the answer. And the answer is T. Alright. So, we finish discuss all the question in set 3. Okay. So, insyaAllah we will continue with the next set. In the next video, so jumpa lagi. Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera. Bye-bye.